I'm Courtney. I'm at the Midwest Rep Rap Festival, and I am here with Rich of Greengate 3D. And can you tell me all about Greengate? I can, Courtney. Can you do it now? Yes, I can, Courtney. <laughs> and thanks for coming. I don't sell printers. I don't even sell Z-Height. But I do sell the world's best, the world's best PETG filament, recycled or virgin. Now, I have been using Greengate 3D's print, uh, filaments for years, and I absolutely love them. They've got a bunch of flavors of filament. Well, I haven't eaten them, but they have a bunch of colors I absolutely adore. Tell me, what makes your filament special? Excellent. Good question, Courtney. Here's what makes our filament special. So this is recycled scrap plastics. I've been in the industry almost 25 years. December will be 25 years. This is packaging material, industrial scrap. The scanners will actually take a look at this sheet and if there's any Q, if there's any problems with it, if there's a fish eye, if there's a the gauge is too thin, if there's a discoloration of some sort, like it's not perfectly clear, it's cloudy, it gets rejected. In line, they will reprocess it for us into a pellet. And is this what is known as resin, right? Do we hear yes. it of as resin? Yes, you can call so it resin. Even though resin to us a lot of times means the liquidy stuff that you use right. with resin printing. In this case, this is the stuff that is the base for your filament. That's correct. You know, resin's more of a generic term, so you can use it same like you could say raw materials. So it's a generic term. The importance of having it recycled in line, A, it's going to reduce your carbon footprint. So that means if it's just scrap and they may be bailed up or chopped up, we would have to bring it to a secondary processing center. So that's time and cost. And, you know, trucking is carbon footprint. You're, you're burning fossil fuels. So in our case, it's done in line. And then when it's finished, it's in boxes. We'll pick them up and send them to the extrusion companies. So right now, we're dealing with four different companies across the U.S one in Michigan, one in Illinois, one in North Carolina, and we just brought in a small extrusion team in Pennsylvania. So this is, so you, you have, from a standpoint, you have two businesses. One is, one is this business that you've been at 20 years? Uh, 25, 25 in December. Years. And you are creating the base for the recycled PETG filaments, and it's not only the Greengate 3D filaments, you're working right. with other filament manufacturers? Uh, yes, there are some filament manufacturers that buy our pellet for their own in-house use. Now, how many colors do you have? Uh, I lost track, but I think we're up to around 30. Some we've, we've transitioned out of and some we've added. Uh, we've done one for Murph, which is amethyst. That's this guy right here. It has similar purple rain characteristics. It's just short one color. So it gives people an, an opportunity to buy something that's not as uh, dichroic as Purple Rain, but still has that beautiful translucency and that great purple color. Now I'm going to show some pictures of Purple Rain because it is one of my favorite filaments ever. And it, it really is, you can turn it and you see dichroic, I hadn't thought, that's a great word to describe it. So I think it is, not only is it good for your carbon impact and the recycling, it's fantastic filament, you've got amazing colors, and Thank some you. of those colors are from people you know, like Billy Rubin has cherry pie, Correct. right? Yep. And we've got Devin Montes has cool gray. Correct, Wait, we really appreciate you guys supporting us. We support you guys and thank you all very much. If you look on your site and you scroll down, the number of partners that you have really speaks to the community how much you have support from everyone. Shows like this and from outside, people have heard of our stuff and they've said they want to try it. They buy it for their schools, their libraries. We're very lucky, we're very happy. The community at large has embraced us. Our competitors are friendly to us. That usually doesn't happen in an industry. Here it does. Well, you guys, you, you guys are great, and I've always enjoyed working with you and talking with you, too. So thank you, thank you all very much for being part of this. If you have not tried Greengate's filament, I would encourage it. If you are afraid of printing with PETG because you've never tried it, get some of their PETG filament. Get Purple Rain. You will not be disappointed. Thank you. I don't want to close on that. I know you do. We yeah, should. We should. We but should. I, I something that's really important. It's not typical PETG um, resin. And because of that, it can print at 200 to 250. 
So we're talking That's a about huge range. it's a huge range. We're talking about Ender threes that don't have an all metal hot end. You can use our stuff on PLA temps. You cannot be afraid. We have a model that one of the guys here printed on this small um, elementary school printer, and he ran cherry pie in 215, and it looks spectacular in this humidity. So do not be afraid to run our stuff at PLA temps. Raise the Z, you should be good to go. Little heated bed would help, and a little more heat. You don't need it, but it'll help. That's it. This is, this is cool. Yeah, don't be afraid, guys. Come try out. You will not be disappointed. Thank you so much. Thanks, Gordon. All right. Awesome. Thanks.